Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are at, we are in the early evening, bringing you with another episode of The Real Wrestling Show. Dash blog. And we are The Real Wrestling Show, talking about what we believe to be The Real Wrestling Show, and the only one on TV, really, and that is AEW. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children above the ages of 15, we proudly bring to you the greatest wrestling, best friends, blog, tag team champions of the world. We got... The ball bastard, Bigsy, looking nice and finely shaved-ish. We've also got either that way or that way. The furry curvy for Tom and Dorsey, and together we make up the real wrestling show. Dash Bloggio. Bloggio is blogging Welsh, we think. We're not sure, but we're from Wales. Uh, what we do on here basically is a rundown of Dynamite, a rundown of Rampage, a rundown of, of Collision, and any other specials that AEW put out, which at the moment they don't, but this weekend they will. So I suppose I will be paying for a pay-per-view and the ticket to go to the pay-per-view and then come home and watch the pay-per-view that hopefully was awesome while I was there. That's the plan. So, yeah, there will be another special next week. But, uh, yeah, for tonight, though, we are just going to run through Dynamite, run through Rampage, run through Collision. And any news of those he's got? Not this no week, news this week. I got a couple off the top of my head, but nothing. It's all about all in, to be honest. But uh, starting yeah. off for Dynamite this week, which was Fight for the Fallen. Pay-per-view? Mm, mm, can't be a pay-per-view because then they'd have to pay to view it. Yeah. Definitely not a pay-per-view. But uh, the first match was an international title match between Honest Cassidy and Yuta Wheeler. Uh, a bit one-sided, but it was a good match. Um, back and forth elbows, Yuta Saito, Orange Saito, both kicks. Uh, the match slows down quite early. But they both yeah. play on the map like expecting like a bit of a oh my god this is awesome it's like guys you punched each other once and now you're laying down <laughs> uh, suplex outside by Orange Cassidy pile driving on the ramp by you uh, you are mocking Orange Cassidy with the kicks uh, beach break on the outs uh, by Orange Cassidy gets two count you are stomping the elbow where they put that arm back right there uh, and he I think he shouts out Brian told me that one Brian told me that uh, you are working the leg. An octopus by Yuta, or a variation of uh, Yuta bite in the hand of Orange Cassidy for no reason. There yeah. was no, it was, there was no counter or anything like that. I don't understand why it was a bit stupid. Don't do it. It's the heel uh, move. Yeah, but it's stupid. Like I know it's done in the eighties. Get on with it. Yeah, why do <laughs> you just like all of a sudden grab someone's hand and just start biting it for for an offensive move? It's carnival wrestling. Childish. Isn't it? childish. Carnival. Uh, yeah, you had bounced off the guardrail when he was slammed into it, which he did. A lot of the wrestlers are doing, I mind. They seem to be banging their head on the upright bars. Yeah. Um, we go. Nice superplex and then a diving splash by Utah gets two count. Orange Cassidy playing, uh, playing a knee injury. What's that? Playing the knee? Yeah. Playing knee injury. Don't know what that fucking says. <laughs> uh, Nuka driver gets a uh, two count. For Orange, DDT by Orange, and then a BCC come out. Orange Cassidy hits a poor paradigm shift. Let's be fair. It was pretty, pretty terrible. Uh, mocking, mocks in, hits the Orange Punch, uh, Orange Punch. You hit it to seatbelt, gets two count, and then Orange does a pocket pin for the finish of the match, which I thought was pretty cool. I've not seen him put his hands in his pocket for a pin before. Yeah, it, was, it created a wicked leverage. You could see, like, it yeah, was weird. Right in. yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, five moments, I went with you a man of the match. Six moments, and I went with Orange. Well, like I said, it was a bit one sided, but it was a pretty good match. After the match, BCC attacks, best friends come out, Lucha Brothers come out, Eddie Kingston comes out, and they say about it being a stadium stampede match. Yeah. Which should be pretty thick. Uh, it's going to be carnage, mate. It's going to be, mate, but we're going to be watching on the screen as a live. Live person, like it's not a mm-hmm. great match for us to be. What I don't think it's going to be a great match for us to witness as a live crowd. No, but by being where we are, we could be in for a bit of a treat. Yeah, you know. So, you know, at the end of the day, mate, it's like whether or not they film a lot of the stuff in America and then try and fob it off as Wembley. I don't know. You know, no, they won't do that, mate. They'll do it all there. It's well, just hopefully. like I said, as a live thing, obviously with the size of the arena. And that's just all in the ring is quite hard to see. It's like even when we went to um, NXT TakeOver, 
small arena when they had that street fight we were standing on the chairs and security were telling us off and we we're like yeah yeah as soon as they turn their back we're back up on the chairs yeah it's not like you didn't see pop call unless it's on the screen yeah well we'll see how that pans out anyway man but uh, there is going to be some alterations to that match anyway uh next up we had a promo with jr uh, sitting down with omega basically says that don groomed me from a child <laughs> uh, talks about to cash the Don interrupts to catch the attacks, plus plus the Bullet Club gold, all over the back of Omega, and then a three by two to Omega by Takashita. Didn't really work properly, and I think he took the full brunt of a three by two, even though they're soft and it's like a balsa wood. If you hit it on the on the actual squared edge, if yeah. you hit it flat, it'll break. But if you go on the angle like that, it just reinforces it, and that's yeah. what he got with. Like I mean, so yeah. Bit of a fucked up promo there. Like, uh, next up, we had a promo backstage. Not at Collision, though. It's definitely not filmed at Collision. And it was Hangman standing by an ambulance saying that uh, it'll be Omega, Hangman, or Bishi at Wembley. And this promo was the whole hoo ha about why CM Punk kicked off and whatever, and Hangman wasn't allowed at the building. It was this yeah. specific promo, like so. Um, next up, we had a promo in ring. Don Callis gets booed. Jericho comes out, says yes to join in Don Callis' family. There's a painting in the room. Jericho says, go on then, let's have a look at the painting. Uh, and the painting's revealed and Don holding Jericho's head. Well, let's be fair, it was a fucking sick, sick picture. Like. I thought it was brilliant the way they'd done the promo. Nobody expected Jericho to go, yes, I'll join the family. Yeah. Yeah. Totally, totally threw everything off, like, I mean. Um, Don lying his way out of there. Be honest, Don says... Massive ego of Jericho. We didn't expect him to say yes. Nobody cares about you, Don. You're an asshole. Don slaps Jericho. Will Ospreay attacks Jericho with the chair. Picture over Jericho's head. Nothing breaks. Sammy G comes out for the save. Pretty good promo, man. It was good. Yeah. Thoroughly really enjoyed it. Sure not sure where it's going to go now, though. After that much, I mean. I know Anyone it's just... Jericho all in. <laughs> you mean Osprey? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, but then after that, where is it going? That's what I'm talking about. I know it was the setup for the Osprey match, but then what's the angle after now? Is it going to be? Because Santana and Ortiz are looking to make a comeback as well. See? Yeah, they're buddied up again, aren't they? Yeah, so it could well be that we see the inner circle reemerge at All In. Yeah. You know, or even All Out, which is next week. Yeah. You know, so that could be something to look out for. Uh, next up, we had a promo. Jungle Boy FTW recap says that he's going to retire the FTW title next week. What do you reckon? Yeah, I agree. The moment it was Taz, Taz was like not part of the group, but Team Taz FTW title became just a toy. Do so you think it should be retired? Yeah. I don't think it's going to. Okay. I think we're going to get some other ECW X come out. Well, I wouldn't mind that. That would be fine if they win it as well. But, like, I just don't... Let's be clear. It's basically a hardcore title without the 24-7 rules. Yeah. And unless they're hardcore, I don't want it on. I get the gimmick. Like, I'm not hardcore, so, like... You know, it's the it's the whole heel thing, and it gets the crowd, it gets crap heat off the crowd. Yeah. But just, and there's so many belts in the company right now, because they keep bringing in like they've got enough belts on their own, and they keep bringing in the Ring of Honor champions and the New Japan champions, and it feels like there's a belt on the line every match, and it's like, well, what's the point? Like, it, does the champion mean anything now then? Because there's so many belts out there. Yeah, uh, see, I quite. In the beginning, I didn't like it because it was like, oh, here we go, like, I mean, it's like you've got the, the world championship, the international championship, the tags, the trios, the women's. Yeah, and the TBS. And the TBS and the TNT. Yeah. I mean, but it's like, for me, the FTW, like, I agree that it's kind of like, oh, well, it needs to be hardcore or something like that, but it, I think it needs to progress into something else and be like, 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 I don't want to say, like, you've got the collision champion, the real world champion. Like, what does yeah. that even you know what I mean? But you've got a collision one, you've got a dynamite one, maybe a Rampage title. You know what I mean? Yeah. A Rampage before, yeah, like we were suggesting before. Hold on, two secs. 
like we were suggesting before. So you'd have like you'd have dark as the the real fresh people. You'd have elevation as they're like working their way up. Then you'd have dynamite as people stepping up into that. Do you know what I mean? Like, and you'd have yeah. the same now. So you've got rampage as the kind of the newbie show. Then you'd have mm-hmm. dynamite or rampage as the second show, and then you'd have your heavyweights on the dynamite show. I mean, I know that's not going to happen now because CM Spunk is a dickhead, you know, and he's not going to allow for that to happen, is he? Let's be fair. No. But yeah, that would be um, that would be cool and stick it there. You know what I mean? But anyway, yeah. let's next matchup we had Darby and the how can I how can I describe this in a nice way? Very underwhelming Nick Wayne. Uh, versus the Gates of Agony. Uh, it was a good match. Uh, Gates of Agony attack early on. Swerve and Fox come out, stand on the ramp, and then sit down. Nick Wayne does a dive. Uh, both of his Achilles hits the guardrail, which you don't really want that happening. You know, no. not at all. Uh, cut a block by Toa. That was sick. Nice body block. Uh, backdrop on the corner. And then a splash on the apron by Toa. That was quite nice. Double choke slam by uh, Gates of Agony. Gets a two count. Darby uh, hits a dive. That was sick. And then a crucifix double team. Gets a two count by Darby. Uh, backdrop plus an elbow from Gates of Agony. That elbow drop from Gates of Agony. Karakarana off the apron by Nick Wayne. Cut it to Bishop. Double dive. One's a coffin drop. One's a moonsault for the finish of the match. That was probably the best part of the match was the ending. Um, Although I didn't really, I don't really wait, rate Nick Wayne at the moment because he's just looking like he's looking like he's never wrestled on TV before, and he's never he never wrestled on TV before. You know what I mean? And that's what it's looking like. So for me, he's not, he shouldn't be there at the moment. I know they're just exposing exposing his name, and he'll probably drop down to ROH or whatever. I was going to say, I think he needs to drop down into ROH, and yeah, he's, he shouldn't be on Dynamite. Um. But yeah, like I said, the best bit in the match was probably the double di- double dive, which is the coffin and the moonsault at the same time. Yeah. Uh, I went with two man of the match. And I have five moments. Darby man of the match. And four. Well, you were wrong about Darby because it was Toa. The big Samoa. Might have been after the, match, answer. after the match, the actual best part of the match was sitting on the screen doing a Joker style. Yes, awesome. Kidnap Nana. Oh, Nana, come back. I'm so lonely. Yeah. I need somebody to talk to. Brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Sting, is, Sting yeah. is fucking legendary. I, just want to, I want to see another one this week now. Yeah. And Darby was playing it well as well in the ring, like kind of like smiling along with it and like, I don't know, like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Cool, I like that, like. Um, moving, man, so much more left. Moving on, we had a promo video. MJF and Adam Cole, uh, they go to Outback Aussie Steakhouse. Yeah. MJF freaks out because the food is so good, and says, and then like he's like, oh no, we're never gonna beat Aussie Oswald, Aussie Oz, Aussie 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 Open. <laughs> Aussie Oswald. <laughs> um, they get crockled out, crockled out on DVDs, and then MJF watches some kangaroo fighting, and then he starts doing a kangaroo kick. <laughs> which is now starting to get a little bit of traction and I would imagine kangaroo kick is going to be a t-shirt pretty much yeah so uh, crocodiles I've written crocodiles Tony calls both of them in the office and shouts to them for doing double clotheslines backstage which I thought that was pretty good <laughs> as well uh, MJF being smug, saying about the 2024 bit. That was quite good as well. He better watch his mouth and all that, blah, blah, blah. And then Tony's like, oh, what do you say? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, Rod Strong tries to shout at Adam Cole, and then the kingdom come out. And does he cry or something like that again? I don't you might, I just, When Adam comes on the TV now, I'm like, my God, man. Like, you were good. You went to WWE, they ruined you. And somehow Tony Khan's ruining you even more. And I don't often say that. But he's just coming across as a whiny little bit. Well, I watched the um, AEW unreleased uh, unrestricted of his. Yeah. In real life, he comes across like a whiny little bitch as well. Is he? Yeah, unfortunately. He's a very emotional man. And it's all fine. 
It's all good being an emotional man. Do you know what I mean? Like keeping a check for wrestling, no, dude. It's supposed to be a hard man's thing. Like, do you know what I mean? Um, right next up, anyway, we had. Um... <laughs> we still had more promo. Richard Adam calling MJF, doing a kangaroo, uh, getting a kangaroo kick chant. Uh, double clothesline, talks, tag belts, world title shot. I need to win this belt, says Alan Cole. MJF says his story's better. Talks about the Indies and Cody, blah, blah, blah. Aussie Open then comes out and attack. It's all good. It was a good promo. Very nice. Yeah. But I notes were terrible. Uh, and then we had a promo. And the better of uh, Aussie Open in the end as well, even though they made the sneak attack. MJF and Adam Cole got the better of them. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, then we had a promo with Rene backstage. Uh, Jericho's with the medic, talks about Osprey. Jez calls out Osprey. I thought you already did when you got attacked. <laughs> uh, then we had what was an okay, it was an okay match. I gotta be fair. I know people are complaining about it, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed it for what it actually was, which if was you, supposed to be. If you watched it and thought, this is going to be like an ECW style match or whatever. Then you're a fucking jack off. It was advertised. It's a gimmick match. It was advertised as a gimmick match. That's the thing. If you want it as anything else, go on. Yeah. It, as long as Jarrett and Jeff Hardy and Karen Angle oversold it, it was going to work out perfect, which it did. I thought it yeah. was, for what it was, it was perfect. Yeah. It was. They made it look like a, horror, a hammer horror type spectacle and that's what it was the blood or the red lighting do you know what I mean like the chainsaw guy coming out or Aaron uh, getting the Dean Alexander yeah but um yeah it was it was supposed to be based on chainsaw Texas massacre do you know what I mean so for that being said sick match uh Texas chainsaw death match Jeff Hardy V's Jeff Jarrett uh Jeff Hardy had a sick match, made him look like an alien, and he peeled his face off. <laughs> it's cool as fuck, mate. Love that. Like, they got to get Dan Housen part of that, like, you know what I mean? Dan Housen going over to me, like, doing his whole, like, cheesy gimmick, and then Jeff peeled his face off, and Dan Housen, like, run off. Like, all freaked out. And then anytime he sees Jeff Hardy, then just freak out. Yeah. Uh, Jeff walking to a weapon wall, and there's Karen. A crutch to Jeff Jarrett. Sat Nam. Something, something, something. Hanging Hardy picks him up and where Jeff's got all his face paint and all that and he like gripped him like that. And yeah. all the all his face and I looked like he was like had a zombie on a wall. He looked wicked, man. <laughs> um Isaiah and Matt and Ego take out Satnav. Something poured over Jeff Jarrett and Callan, which I assume is supposed to simulate blood. Uh Lethal then joins in. Sanjay comes from the light which I thought was pretty funny when they go towards the door and then it opens up and it's just a big beam of light in Sanjay. That was quite, quite nice. Uh, Hardy jumps off the boxes, fighting on a stage, smoked by the ring, making it all set up kind of like, oh, spooky kind of, you know, eerie and all that, which I thought looked good. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that says. Can, canage, canage, canage. I don't know what that says. K A N N A G E. Kanaj. <laughs> Kendo to Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> Swan Tons with the table. Guitar to Jeff Jarrett. Christian chases Karen away. Hammer to Jeff Jarrett. No, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Jarrett wins with a pin. Where's did the chainsaw guy come in? Let me can. Maybe the can canage was the chainsaw bit. Uh, so Tony Khan or what? Canage was it Tony Khan? No, it was Dean Alexander. Was it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm asking you. It is Dean Alexander. Leatherface. Uh, no, that's why I was asking you. Oh. Uh, sick match. Everybody was a man of the match in this one. There was no, yeah. there was no real standout in it to be honest. Uh, and I had nine moments. Uh, I'll go with you on that. Sounds about right. Like you said in the beginning, for all those people who looked at it as a hardcore match or anything that was going to involve a chainsaw and people's skin, you're all morons. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? 
You're all fucking idiots. The reason I liked it as well is because like people are comparing it to what happened in WCW with Robocop. But the mm. difference is WCW tried to incorporate Robocop in the storyline. Yeah. They, they were actually thinking about making Robocop a wrestling character. Yeah. Hey, That's Sandman, get around. <laughs> That's the big difference. <laughs> I will serve the law. Come over here so I can fucking cut you. No. It's like if on Impact, it would have been a five star match. Because yeah. that's what Impact is doing. Yeah. In a way, like it. But it was absolutely supposed to be a bit of cinematic drama. But it, it wasn't a cinematic match, obviously, like Benny. But it was supposed to be just spooky, red lighting, blood, steam, smoke, with the whole who factor. I mean, that's what it was supposed to be. I mean, Canage. Honestly, they didn't like a bit better than when I for Halloween. They could have, yeah, but the, the game came out now. Yeah, I know, but if they were if they were clever, Texas Chainsaw Massacre game coming out at Halloween yeah. would be much better. Yeah, but I don't know what that says. It just says can canage can canage. But moving on, this match was just okay. Okay. I don't know why I've written just okay, but I've written just okay. Rip Baker versus the Bunny. Zero moments. Four distraction, four attacking on the outside. Super kick, third stomp by brick finish. Yeah. Shame. Um, I don't know why. The Bunny should have been squished so quickly. Because it was a bit of a squash match. Or a filler match. Yeah. Um, and she's only just returned from injury as well. I think that's what it is. It's just uh, people are like, oh, well, Brit, uh, Benny's back from injury. It's like, let's squash her quick then. You know what I mean, get her out of the way. She's clearly not going to be in London, like, you know what I mean, or not, not that she's going to not be there, but she's not going to be in that shot. She's not going to be in that match. No yeah. way, like, so. But um, yeah, just okay. Zero moments moving on. And we had a Three. promo Adam Cole versus the house, uh, the acclaimed versus House of Black. Question mark, question mark. House of Black in a ring attack and the acclaimed. They take Billy's boots, shared by Brody. Max is bleeding. I don't know why this happened. Because they're the reason that Billy retired, and a couple of weeks back on a promo, they were like, "Oh, they, yeah, we're not done in the tag division or whatever, or the six-man tag division." Well, I don't understand why the acclaim come out. Like, there was no. Were they coming out for a match? Were they coming out to talk? Because there was no reason for them to come out and talk. Uh, yeah, it said they had cleaned in action. Ah, right, okay. In, in the squash that match. Makes sense. I, I missed that, because like, I'm just thinking, well, why the fuck is... Oh, they just come out, and now they've just been jumped, and a match has been thrown out, or what? I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> Didn't explain it very well. And I, I, I'm coming to terms of the fact that, like, well, if the wrestling is too complicated to follow, you're going to lose your fans. You're gonna, yeah, you're that's gonna what always said. Always said that. So, yeah. That would be the you. But what we're going to talk about now is the main event of Dynamite. The main event of Dynamite. Well, Dozy watches his TV. No, he's uh, just, just watching TV. I know what you're doing, you motherfucker. Oh, I know what you're doing. You feel guilty. Oh, you feel guilty, motherfucker. We got Dozy's group, the Ass Boys versus the Young Bucks. For no reason. No belt. What? Why are they my boys? You're an ass. Oh, I do like ass. You do. Indeed, look like an ass. But yeah, anyway, we got the Ass Boys versus the Bucks. Um, I didn't rate this match. I don't know why. Uh, Bucks super kicks on stage We're on uh, the Ass Boys entrance, which looked good with the whole fitting with the guns. That was yeah. pretty cool. Um, Matt dives off the stage. Austin attacking Nick off the apron. Austin mocking Matt trying to make a tag. That was pretty funny as well. The crowd popped for that. Um, high drop kick by Colton, which I know it's nothing specific that, but I got to be fair, he's probably at the moment the best person for doing drop kicks in AEW by a long yeah. mile. Like. When someone does it beautifully, you, you recognize it, don't you? Like, I mean, he, he reminds me of his dad doing it. Yeah. The height he gets The height he gets is wicked. Like. Mm. Um, Nick Jackson then does his hot tag, and I'm sure there was like one moment in it. Uh, double team by the Ass Boys gets two count. Nick double stomp to stop the pin. Ass Boys try to cheat to win, and then the Bucks cheat to win. 
laugh out loud. Uh, holding the other one for the leverage to get the pin. So, Bucks win. I went with Austin Man of the Match. Two moments. Agreed. I had Austin Man of the Match and I had two moments. After the match, Juice and Jay beat down FTR, Clean House, Shatter Machine, and then pretends to go for the Bucks. And that is all she wrote until I do the next part. <laughs> Yeah, it was a decent show. Bit of a weak main event. Yeah, the beginning was good though. All the Adam Cole MJF stuff, that was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Orange and Utah. It was okay. The Jericho bit was okay as well. But yeah, yeah. the week before I think was much better. Yeah, I still don't think that's quite so good enough for a main event at Dynamite yet. They're good, but they're not good enough for a main event. Looking good. Yeah. My Adam's that was all off centre, man. Weird. Yeah, it is. Looks like someone's punched you in the fucking throat. Hold it by that. My voice is gone all monotone. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about Rampage now, Remy. Um, sick match, this first one. Very slow to start off. Yeah. The match was fucking incredible. Yeah. Uh, and Amanda was on form. Amanda. Amanda was on form. Sometimes he makes like a lot of. Same move. And, and they miss or they take too long. He seems to like be a lot more fluent in this one. Probably yeah. because of Phoenix as well, who can move just yeah. as fast. But it was an absolutely incredible match. Uh, probably, yeah, the most moments over the both shows. Um, Phoenix V's commander, Matt back and forth pins early on. A little bit slow though, but I was allowing everybody to see like the transitions because I'd never seen some of those transitions before. Like, yeah. Uh, back for rope running, that was a bit slow as well. Uh, Commander jumps up on the apron, stopping Phoenix from going for the dive. That was quite nice. Uh, Commander to dive and then does a tight rope and just jumps down. Yeah. It, looked like he, it looked like he lost his balance, but Phoenix ran in the ring. So I think yeah. it was like a, a cancel move type thing. Uh, double stomp off the top by Phoenix, that was nice. Uh, six sliding kick by Phoenix, got a nice contact on her. Uh, four chops by Phoenix, the crowd asking for one more, so he goes to north, west, south and east. Pointless flip over Phoenix back by Commander. He's like on the rope and he kind of just flicks on his back and does nothing. Yeah. Like I, I've never understood why any wrestler kind of does that. It's like doing a handstand in the corner, ready to be kicked. What are you doing? You know, <laughs> playing that. You idiot. Get down. Um, nice TRS by Commander because of Phoenix, the way he literally threw him up in the air. Uh, brutal Hurricane by Commander Phoenix Spikes. That look, that look real nasty. I watched that. Oh, yeah. I probably watched that about twenty times. Yeah, it could have been a neck breaker, couldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Man, that could have been an end of fucking career, like I mean. Uh, Commander gets two count. Lung blower by Commander out of the Gorilla Press. That was quite cool. Uh, sick rolling cutter by Phoenix, but that was kind of because of Commander. He was doing like a back roll and a front roll at the same time and doing a forward backward slidey slidey. And then Phoenix <laughs> hits him with a rolling cutter. Pretty sick. Um, BCDC are watching backstage. Phoenix then does a rope walk kick, which i got to be fair, that looked wicked. He literally climbed up and went. He didn't like yeah. climb up balance and went. He just kind of climbed up and was like, fucking let's go. And then when he booted him, he kind of went. Like, <laughs> until he he had, the flash, mate. Until he like, it was cool. Real good, man. Uh, crucifix bomb out of nowhere by Commander. That was wicked. Gets two count. Uh, nice kick spot where they both do like a couple of spinning kicks. Ray does his reversing the ropes and that, and then they both fall down flat. That was quite nice. Uh, springboard destroyer by Commander was absolutely fucking wicked. On point. Uh, on point. Rope walk moon salt gets two count for Commander. Four five zero missed by Commander. Sit out pile driver by Phoenix because I'm not sure of the actual name of it. Uh, I called it a missile buster. No, not that other one so, before. No, the part a what? Out tombstone. I call out tombstone. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and the finish of the match was a spin out muscle buster. Like yeah. uh, muscle buster. Right. Yeah, it was cool, man. I had twelve moments and command the man of the match. Come back, sir. Um, agreed, brother. Even oh. even on the commander, Phoenix in the match, but I'm the commander. I know, Phoenix in a match, bro. What's the matter? No, not my man of the match. You always say, didn't you? Huh? 
you say, oh, Phoenix is in my match. Phoenix is in the match. Those he's picked already in then. That's what I'm asking you. Are you all right? You feeling all right, like? That commander, like you said, he was on. Like I said, sometimes against. I mean, it might even be a language barrier thing where, like, you know, if he's fighting someone like um, a Jericho or, you know, and and older, like you mean that maybe they can't make him look good with his moves, or he has to slow down to maybe them to handle it. But with Phoenix, mate, it was it was poetry emotion, mate. There, but he looked fucking beast. The match was quite slow, though, in the sense that, like, the transitions between moves and stuff like that were very, you could see it all. But yeah. it, wasn't bad. it wasn't bad that you could, because by seeing it all, like, you could kind of, you could really appreciate, like, oh, fucking hell, I never knew it would work. Like, oh, you know what I mean? It'd be like, oh, you got this fucking arm trap there, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. a bit like Kit Angle and Chris Benoit back in the day. Yeah, it's like watching a sunset flip and then thinking, fucking hell, that's a code red if you speed it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just got an extra spin in the spin in it, flicking it. Extra momentum, Mark. But yeah, absolutely incredible opener. Um, there was no entrances or nothing. It just started, which I, yeah. I'm never adverse to on any show. Like to I me. Mean. Uh, next up, we had a promo backstage with Renee Britt Baker talking about the A title match. Saying she was in the first one and she wants to be the next champ. And what a ring that would be if eighty thousand people were saying, "Jimmed." <laughs> uh, next up we had a promo video by QT Marshall basically showing that he made uh, the title win for the Latin American title in AAA uh, Conan's been in the news a little bit defending why that's happening I didn't read into it but that has happened then we had another promo video it was Johnny Last Name congratulating uh, QT Marshall and talks to his dog we care about Johnny into what's that do we care about Johnny Insert? What's that onion? With the best thing on the blog and TV? Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Out of which tag team, out of out of which tag team title match. Isaiah and Ethan Page for some reason versus Aussie fucking how they are boring open. Uh this match was dreadful. Absolutely fucking pants. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah. yeah, I'll get into the match. Eagle trying to fly is my first note. <laughs> what do you mean? Ethan Page, you didn't see him trying to take off. Even no the cop did, bro. When he comes open out the, out the ring like an Isaiah is about to go to the dive, he's about to win. In the commentary like, ah, is he, is he trying to take flight? <laughs> he did. He did look as though he was trying to take off. Um, Isaiah flipped the dive overshot to the outside on this actual moment. He literally yeah. jumps right to the top of him and almost looks like he breaks his ankle. A uh, terrible squash spot where they all kind of run. They like they all duck one another and miss each other and whatever. And then Aussie open pick them up and slam their backs together. That was a dreadful spot. Um, scrappy German by Davis. And I don't think he did anything in this match that was specifically notable, to be honest. Uh, Brainbuster by Ethan Page, which gave him the man of the match for me. Uh, Isaiah hits a swanton, but it gets countered. Loads of double teams by Ozzy Osbourne, the last one being a throwaway double team cutter. So he throws him into the position and he hits him with a cutter. Again, Mark Davis didn't really do anything in that other than throw the dude. Uh, and pick Isaiah up, the very, very, very light man in the match. I mean, a kind of swinging around like a ragdoll. Let's see you do that to someone of your own size. Not going to happen, mate. Um, Isaiah Swanton on count, uh, loves able to be there. Larry at Coriolis finish of the match. Yeah. On the open win, which they were always going to. Ethan Page, man of the match, only just. Because nothing really in this match stood out at all. It was dreadful. There were two moments in it. Ego yeah, was I, one of the trying to fly. I had two moments in uh, Fletcher, man of the match. Who? Fletcher. Fletcher. Yeah, he sucks. Um, yeah, only because he's banging Sky Blue. No, it's not because of that, mate. They, they are, they've got no personality, mate. It's like, like all, it. moves, all their like, moves are very basic and scrappy. Like nothing's like, nothing seems scientific like a lot of other tags. You know? Yeah. I agree. They're, I don't think they're the greatest tag team. No, they're not. They're dreadful. I do like Fletcher, though. Davis. 
mm, I, I can't see, see him doing too much for me any in, in any respect. Like he's no, got I, no real personality and he's got no real great moves. But Fletcher, I do like. I like his moves. Yeah, his his in ring ability is a lot better than Davis, but he's he's like literally got the personality of a, a firewood. Like, you know what I mean, like every every now and again you might hear him go. I'll give him a break, bro. He's um he's come up from Japan and like Japan isn't it's not built on promos, but it's built on in room work. What's what's this all about, bro? I don't know. Will, because there's the W and there's the fucking O. Will Osprey. The moron keeps doing the Will Osprey sign. Is he a retard? Well, it's, he's the boss of Aussie Open, isn't he? Yeah, but Aussie Open. Like, He's not that, is it? That's Will. William. Os- <laughs> William Osprey. Kyle Fletcher. Kyle Fletcher. <laughs> Dickhead. Yeah, and I don't like him because he's banging his right Um But yeah, two moments in a match. Dreadful match. After the match, Ozzy opened talk about MJF and Adam Cole says, you won't get to hit a kangaroo. What a shitty promo that was. <laughs> yeah, completely lackluster, mate. Didn't enjoy it at all. So, uh, yeah. He had the righteous in a promo. He's cool as fuck. I love him. Yeah, I've not seen any of their stuff, though, mate, on our way. Yeah. They are very much like the Dark yeah, Order. Tony. Tony, uh, Tony Khan. Tony Khan. I'm not going to watch our way, mate. <laughs> Yeah, very much like the Dark Order. The promo was about Dark Order. We finally brought it out to you. Um, I haven't seen the match. It did look. I've seen a few highlights of it. It looks like a sick match. What's that? Dark Order versus the Righteous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I like the, from what I've seen of the Righteous, I quite like him. I know. I think it's in this match. Uh, someone got chucked through a table and it didn't happen. Uh, what do you mean? Someone gets thrown like through a table and it doesn't break. So Stu Grayson oh. just like you know, climbs up the ring and jumps off. Yeah. Says a frog splash to it. Um but next up we had the Hardys challenging Aussie Open for the ROH tickets. Uh I think Aussie Open are gonna win stupidly because the Hardys would get ahead of a pop in the UK. It's if Jeff can fly. That's the problem. Hmm. Uh, I'm sure he can because they've been to Canada and he went to Canada and they're the strictest wins. I'm not sure. It, it'll be after days. Is there any need in that? Is there any need in that? Well, oh, uh, motorbike. Motorbikes, mate. Yeah. Backers. Yeah, I don't know if he can fly. If he could fly, then I would absolutely be happy for the Hardy Boys to beat Aussie Open anytime they like. <laughs> anytime they like. Anyway, next up, we have what we like to call a skull wish match between Sammy J, Sammy G, sorry, not Sammy G, Sammy G, Sammy G, not Sammy J, Sammy G. <laughs> if you say it's, that, it turns into a whole new like meaning. Sammy G, Sammy G, John Sammy, Sammy G, Sammy G. Cruise. What? John Serpentico Cruz. Nobody knows. <laughs> Uh, some assault to the outside by Sammy, GTH, Sammy wins, Sammy Mother match, zero moments. Yes. Then we had the Nyla promo saying, I've been here since day one, blah, 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 blah. It was a decent promo, that one, from Nyla. Yeah, uh, well, true. I, I told um, you, blah, 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 part of it. Like um, nothing before. Yeah, exactly. Uh, then we have Mox versus Phoenix Hype. That could be a good match. Who is being mocked? What's that? Being mocked? A funny uh, guy. Then we have Mark Henry's yeah. bit. Getting Sorry, bro, talking... to go watch the promo. Say all that again, mate. I talked over everything. I was trying to catch your attention and I kept on cutting you off. And then we had the uh, <clears throat> overpaid Mark Henry going. Promo. Time for the main event of the evening. That's him done. Yeah, he's got to be doing talent searches and stuff, hasn't he? 
Well, from what I see, all she's doing is moaning about WWE talents. They should be doing this better. They should be doing that better. Oh, well, you don't work for them. You work for AEW. Do something there, you prick. Yeah. He wants to go back home. Well, he can if he wants. Fuck him. Yeah, we don't need him. It wouldn't be any great loss to AEW, let's be fair. Oh, exactly. Maybe Rampage will fail. About that yeah. final second of Mark Henry on TV. They'll just put the big show in his uh, They'll put Paul White in his face. <laughs> It's time for the main event. Which it is, which was Soho and Storm. This is Blue and Shooter. Uh, Outcast attacking the entrance. Hip attacks, sends Blue to the outside. Uh, Beastie running the elbow, wipes out Blue by Ruby Soho. Nice German by Storm. Who Blue, but Hip Attack stops the pin. Uh, Ruby sprays Blue in the eyes. She drags Blue over for the tag, which I always like it when they do that. I think that's yeah. cool. I, 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 I don't understand why it doesn't happen more often in wrestling. I know. Um, Soraya pulls Sheeda's leg, distracting her. Uh, Blue takes out Storm. Sheeda counters no future with a roller. Cheetah and Blue win. I won Blue Man of the Match. Blue Man of the Match. And I had dark moments. Four moments. Um, after the match, the outcast attack and Brit Breaker's music plays. She hits the ring and makes the save. Dumdee. Dumdee. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she should do to go, say it with me all. Dumdee. <laughs> and yeah, it was decent. Um, Rampage, the first match was probably the only match I would recommend for watch back value. Yes, and the righteous. Oh, yeah. Even though, yeah. even though it was just a promo, it was a pretty good promo. Yeah, but yeah, um, the open dreadful. Next up, we have Collusion. Started off the the normal promo thing between with uh, Christine Cage and Lucha, Darby Allen, Bang Bang Club, or Bang Bang Gang, Dalton Castle and the boys, and Samoa Joe. Joe is going to kill Punk. Hopefully, yeah, man. If Punk wins, we riot. Then we then I got. Joe V's punk, because technically it was. Uh, yes, more Joe comes uh, down to a match, which he thought was a job, uh, a throwback to like Catista doors, people were pointing out. Um, yeah, fast. GTS. Punk's mask is about to fall off before he pulls it off. <laughs> it's like coming off, so he just, he just grabbed it. Yeah. Yeah, I think there was supposed to be a bit of a delay after that, wasn't there? Yeah. I think there was supposed to be a whole, oh my God, who was this? And then he gave it all. Ah, I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you pesky kids. Uh, yeah. Um, stupid, really. Punk says, I accept, bitch. Yeah. And if Punk wins, we riot. Yeah, man. Is you that can, on your side? You can riot slowly. You're good. <laughs> All like right, you just you just get around with your crutches. You'll be all good. As long as they don't use it, you're in the uh, stampede stadium stampede. I got a weapon, bro. Two of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did I tell you you're not allowed them in there? Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, you can come in, but you're in my frame staying outside. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, then we had all in hype. Then we had Jay White versus Dalton Castle. Brilliant match. He's good, Dalton Castle. He's fucking brilliant. He's really entertaining. He's probably one of the only reasons why I started dipping in and out of ROH, like you mean. Yeah. Do you know what, though? I don't understand. How the hell has he managed to get away with having a basic clear cut all day long, pretty much identical version of Radio Gaga for his entrance? You know what I mean, yeah, it's literally, it's 
it's virtually identical, though. Yeah, please win. Anyway, yeah, it's the match. Uh, the Bang Bang Club chased off the boys. Uh, Power Slam on the apron by White, nice. Uh, nice DDT by Jay, nice. Lovely T Boom suplex by Dalton. Leg capture back to back suplex by Dalton. Wheelbarrow German by Dalton. Then a roll up, guess two. Hurricane on the counter on the apron by Dalton. The boys take flight in and take out the Bang Bang Club. Urinagi gets two for Jay. Uh, nasty Sleeper Suplex, then a Blade Runner by White. Uh, White wins. I won with Dalton, man of the match. Dalton, man of the match. But uh, I especially like the, um, I do like the Bang Bang Club. Good name. Yeah. <laughs> Not the Bang Bang Gang. <laughs> or the Bang Bang Gang. We'll have the Bang Bang Club. Or the Bullet Gang. Well, the funny thing is, it is I've actually written the Bang Bang Gang as well. So, like, mm. I'm not even reading it wrong. <laughs> you're reading out the word club, like. <laughs> you're being hypnotised. Every time that you see the word gang, you'll say the word club. <laughs> and I have seven, seven moments. Club club style. What's that? Seven moments. Seven moments. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> and don't matter the match, yeah, sir. Um, after the match, Tony's in ring with the Bang Bang Gang. Uh, this and Omega. <laughs> this and Omega. The Ass Boys want a match now. Do they? Do So the Iron Savages come out, aka Big Country. This is the Ass Boys. Um. What the fuck does that say? Canage. 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 Apparently, so, one of them yeah. loves to motorboat ass. <laughs> what? He, he goes, I like ass. <laughs> oh, well, bro. I don't remember that. Uh, double flatliner. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh. After a while, Jane joins... Uh, Jane? Who the fuck is Jane? Jay White joins commentary. A double flatliner, then a... Boston catches juice. Coming off the top. <laughs> then slams him on to the ass boys. Or Bronson. Yep. What the fuck? They were said by Austin. Big right hand by juice. Then the tent of humour. Juice hits the finish. Bang Bang Gang win Austin Man of the Match. Austin Man of the Match. Them uh, Bang Bang Clubs are fucking dangerous. Uh, just one moment. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, of course you do. What? I do agree. One moment. What that moment is in the middle of it when you... What, what, what the fuck did that say? I do love those moments in our notes. <laughs> I'll, ne- I'll never forget that, man. Like, I can actually read the word canage. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is, bro. I think it's a pronounced Rene with the acclaimed House of Black oh, talking shit about the House of Black, and then we have the House of Black talking Billy saying that he's a shadow of once he- what he once was, and that's why he's retiring. Yeah. Then we had Jose, out of nowhere, getting screamed at by Roosh. Wants a Mexican team. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Uh, for, uh, for some reason, um, I've been told to um, publicly um, uh, humiliate myself. Uh... <laughs> Hello, boss. What you be wanting? <laughs> so he kidnaps... Lance and Lucha, a, a Lucha, I don't even know who the Lucha is. Uh, it was Realistico. Ah, that makes sense. Mm. Oh, yeah, Tony in the ring. He needs to kidnap my brother. 
Yeah. Then we had uh, Tony with Ricky Starks saying he's got 14 days left on his suspension. He's not even suspended, Tony. You were wrong, Tony. And he brings up Big Bill. Yes, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think uh, they would suit each other. Yeah, I think so, providing Bill can just do as he's told. Beat Diesel for Shawn Michaels. Yeah, and he needs to do something like that. He needs to do as he's told, though, because if he doesn't do as he's told, then it means he's going in for business for himself, and they've either got to let him go in for business for himself or do as he's fucking told. Because I'll, I believe in going in for business for himself at the moment. You know, he's looking pretty good. He still is a little bit... You can still see that he's a little bit blocky in areas. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, but he certainly turned the corner from when he was a twat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he really did fucking do himself a disservice when he did all that shit before, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, all because he was immature. Do you know what I mean? Like now, it does seem as though like, like you know, he's picked he's picked his feet up a bit, but I still think he's a little bit, you know, I, I like not so much oh, I know everything about this business sort of thing, but kind of like you don't know everything about this business and he knows that he doesn't, but he doesn't like being told. Yeah. If it, maybe maybe that's what I'm getting from. I don't know, like, but yeah, I do like the pairing at the moment as it's going. Uh, then we had Big Bill versus Derek Neal. Squash match, choke slam, Big Will wins, Big Bill Malaman match. Starks whips Neal with the same belt that he whipped Steamboat with. Then we had uh, another promo showing independent show. Fox gets attacked by Sting and Darby. Yeah. I oh, bet that's pretty that, cool. I, huh? bet that, I bet that place went blew off the roof mate just because sting like man i thought exactly the same i thought oh what a treat the fans would have had there like you know I mean and you never uh, know mate all these independent shows that are going on the same night you know all, yeah. it's all in you never know mate you might have people rocking up on them as well you know yeah exactly it's happened this is not the first time it happened it's like it happened at icw with triple h mm-hmm. triple h and drew mcintyre rocking up guys um, well, now then, because it's off the network, isn't it? Well, no, it's on fight. On fight ICW, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah, they've left WWE. Yeah. Um, then we had uh, Wayne, this is uh, Swerve and Fox as well. Then we had Willow versus Diamante. A uh, sidewalk slam on the counter by Willow, Beast, and Martinez comes down. Hanging neck breaker by Diamante. Spine Buster gets two for Willow. Slice Bread gets two for Diamante. Stat attacks Martinez when when she intervenes in the match. Uh, Beastie pounce on the outside by Willow. Dr. Bomb. Willow wins. I run with Diamante man in the match. Um, yeah. I didn't even listen. I was too busy doing a Diamante impression. And I had three moments. Two moments. Who was in the match? Willow Diamante. Yeah. yeah Willow man of the match. Hello. Thank you. I'm going to bed now because I've got an old day tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Right then, who are we? That was just uh, my secretary. <laughs> my assistant for the Real Wrestling Show Dash Blog. I need the Geneva. You've it Thanks, Thank you. you. Yep. You fucking anyway, <laughs> Then we had FDR versus the Bucks. All in hype. <laughs> This is the main event. Nope. We had um, Super Sexy Lexi with Tony Storm talking all in. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me add Will Hobbs versus Kevin. Doesn't matter what he's saying anymore, it's really, does it? Back to back off the second rope by Hobbs. Uh, Spine Buster, Hobbs wins. Hobbs man of the match. Yeah, Hobbs man of the match. 
Ob hits the game over after the match to mock Miro. Miro appears on the Tron. I'm talking about my flexible wife and my gods, which I no longer worship or want to fight, but I will yeah. fight. Your secretary is going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Let me add yeah. MGL this is call like. I don't think the um the whole Miro and Will Hobbs is gonna do anything for either one of these guys. Um it might give Hobbs a bit of more like rib because he's in there against the biggest star, but that's about it. I don't think it's gonna I think it's gonna I don't think Will uh, I don't think Will Hobbs is being followed well enough to be honest. I think people yeah. are there. Maybe it's that. You mean that? Uh, yeah. Anyway, right. let's move on to the main event of Collision's Evening, which was, I don't think it was for the TNT title, oh, because Christian's not the TNT champion. No. Darby versus Christian Cage. Uh, JR joins commentary. Uh, people on the internet going mental because JR mentioned the Edge. Yeah. But he signed them to WWE contracts, didn't he? Yeah. Is that what he said? Yeah. He said the truth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> um, Overarm throw into the buckle by Christian was nice. Uh, Swerve and Fox watching on in the back. Uh, Arm breaker DDT gets two for Christian. Springboard off the bottom rope into a crossbody by Darby was nice. And prettier by Christian. Code Red gets two for Darby. Darby pulls off, uh, pulls at the turtleneck of Christian's. Yeah. Uh, drop hole, toe hole on the chair by Darby. Drop yeah, drop kick from the top to the outside by Darby while Christian was sitting on a chair. That was beast. Yeah, bet that hurt. Yeah. Uh, Lucha pulls Christian off the apron when Darby goes for the coffin drop. That was fucking awful. Because Christian was laying there and then he rolled away from the coffin drop and then just laid on the apron. We've all seen... Uh, if it was the first time he'd done a coffin drop on the apron, fair enough. But, like, it's not. We've seen him do it. Really regularly now. That, it was fine. The coffin drop on the apron is not a problem. For me, what the issue was, was Luchasaurus going. And then put him out of the yeah. way. Like, he literally stood there, watched, looked at him. Stood there, watched, looked at him. Looked over there, looked back over there, looked at him, waited for him to move, and then pulled him out of the way. It's like, what are you doing? Pull him out of the way. You clearly fucked up the spot. Just pull him out of the way now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, Lucha is now ejected for red ringside for fucking up the spot. The referee was like, Nope, you fucked it up. Off you go, you kids. <laughs> get out of here. Uh, Christian nails Darby with the belt. Uh, sunset flip off the top. Then a spear by Christian gets two. That was beast. Yeah. Jack, Nif- Jack, Nif- Jack Nipple. A jackknife pin by Darby wins. Darby man of the no Christian man of the match. Yeah, I was going to say Christian man of the match. Eight moments. Same, same number. Two zeros stacked on top of each other. Eight. They're not eight on his side forever. After the match, Tony's with Darby. Alan, Lutra and Christian attack. They make Tony Shavoni count the three, Christian on Derby. They're nowhere to be seen. Ah, and that was the end of collision. Really good. Why not fair? Can you Omega come out and liberated the crowd? I don't know. If you can do that. I don't know if Kenny Omega would be on collision. Maybe CM Punk miserable the crowd. I don't know. But um, the M Punk was only on it for about five minutes, so it was really. I know. Exchange, like, do you know what I mean? I think maybe he starts watching the vlog. 
Maybe he's one of the three people to watch. Or one of the two he's people. Me. One of the just me. He might be the one giving Tony all the storylines from our thing. It's not actually Tony, it's Punk. And that's why he's got a job, because he's like, I'm, a, I'm this creative genius, bro. I'm yeah. Like yeah, but the thing is, it's like we just slam him all the time on nerd, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just talking the truth, guys. Just talking the truth. Tell me when I'm telling lies. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me when I'm telling lies. But anyway, that's what we got for Dynamite Rampage and uh, the other one, Collision, which I've I got a new call inside. We do this for Rampage. We do this for Collision. <laughs> um, yeah, now we're going to talk about some rumors of wrestling. Uh, I haven't really got any written down or nothing, but. Tony Khan has come out and he said already that AEW's All In's card is going to change because of things going on in real life. I don't know if that's something to do with CM Punk though or not. Oh, Cash. Real champ. No, I think Cash has been said that he is going. Um, but another bit of news, Cash Wheeler was uh, arrested the other day for road rage, flashing a gun at someone. Little gun, pow, pow. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's had a £2,500 bond and he didn't have his passport taken, but he's had all of his guns taken off him. Oh, what a shame. Someone's had all their guns taken off him. Wow, maybe they should do it to everyone in America, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, so he's allowed to travel, but Tony Khan has basically said that the card is subject to change, which, let's be fair, we all bought a ticket without there being a match announced until three weeks ago. And any ticket you ever buy at any event always says card subject to change anyway, just to cover their own ass. It absolutely does. Like but what I'm saying, though, is like seventy thousand tickets or sixty thousand tickets were sold before a single match was advertised. Exactly. You get what you're given. You get what you're given. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody turned up. Nobody turned up to be like, "Oh my God, I want to be there to see Brie Phoenix," because you didn't know he was going to be there. Oh my God, I want to be there to see Eddie Kingston. And you didn't know he was going to be there. You know, I didn't know he was going to be there. I'm just, I'm just happy to see what talent they do bring over. Do you know what I mean, not because they're all fresh. Say, will would be there. Like Sting said straight away, like, yeah, I'm going to be there. Yeah. But it's like, even if he couldn't be, it's like everybody else that they bring is going to be fresh to me. It's like, I look, I like most of the characters that AEW produce. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like, even the ones that I don't like, I still want to see. Like, not CM Punk, obviously. Do you know what I mean? Because he's a bit of a dick, you know? But everybody else, you know, even Miro, like, I, I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing Miro. Do you know what I mean? You know, I don't know if he's going to be there or what, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him to see like, well, is he going to be different in real life? Which I would imagine he would be. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah. Gunther. like Gunther in a stadium, oh, yeah. watching him in a in a stadium, terrible. Watching him on TV, pretty decent, like, you know. Yeah. Let's see if that contrast is there with Miro, which I would imagine it would be. But um, what else have I got? Uh, yeah, Phoenix is not going to be there. No, he's having visa problems, so um, that's the only one I've heard at the moment. I'm sure there'll probably be more that come out. Uh, what else? Was there anything else? What's her name? S- Sammy Stitch, is it? Sammy Stitch, Stikes, and Sith. Sammy. What? Yeah, Tammy Stitch. Sammy, yeah, he's uh, likely to be going down for a long time. I, yeah, think, I think it was like aggravated or assault or something like that. Thing on those lines. With the lyrical gun, pow pow. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's all I've got. But the thing about all the all in this shit. What? Brian Danielson was uh, before the injury, there was talks of him versus Omega, Omega for all in. Yeah, I heard that. That would have been a classic. That would have been a good match. But the way Daniel Bryan. Or Brian Danielson was building, and the fact that he was like, I don't know, like his in ring build wasn't going in my favor. I mean, like, I, I wasn't watching it thinking, like, oh, yeah, fair play. Like, he, you know, can't wait to see him fight this person. Like, it's like, I, I was starting to have that impression of, like, yeah, he's starting to bore me a bit now. Do you know what I mean? So, the way it was going, I don't know if Brian Danielson v's Kenny Omega would have been that good of a match. Do you know what I mean, probably wouldn't. Yeah. But either way, All In's going to be sick. Mm-hmm. We're going to be there. We are indeed. So, uh, 
Yeah, I might, might rock the right rock rock this t-shirt. I quite like this one. I might take my honest Cassidy one as well. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, if any of you, any of the three viewers are going to be at All In that watch our blog, um, come and say hi. You know, they'll, they'll be great. You make a day. You know, I'll you know? be the one with shoes on. <laughs> yeah, Dawsey will be the one with crutches. Going, oh, there is one more bit of news as well. Oh. Really important. Legendary, actually. Um, today we're going to have to, you know. Plans together, massive, massive applause for one half of the greatest wrestling tag team blog champions ever was born today. Happy birthday, me, motherfucker. Oh, is it today, is it? Mm-hmm. The 19th today, is it? It was the 23rd, bro. 23rd, <laughs> you would have missed it if it was the 19th. <laughs> Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday. Thank you for that, man. Happy birthday, bro. Go get party, party, weird, party, dude. Yeah, so it's like it is. It is kind of like a three-way celebration going to all in because it's yeah. my birthday present, Helen's birthday present, and it's kind of your birthday. And and uh, oh, I didn't tell you either. Well, I'll tell you that off camera. Yeah, but anyway, that's all we've got because now we've got some juicy stuff to talk about apparently because it's got to be off camera and shit. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for anybody who has helped us do this blog. Please keep on watching, all three of you. Uh, check out our other videos. We have got merchandise memoirs, greenhouse, which is an old thing we used to do about elevation and dark, but we don't do that anymore because it's gone. <laughs> yeah, check those out. I've been Big Z. I've been the phenomenal Dorsey. And we'll be back next week, I guess. For the all in baby. Next week's show will be slightly different because we're not going to do notes, but we will be there to express what happened live, baby. Yeah, mate. So, uh, yeah, catch you next week, peeps.